Hello everyone, Luke Ford Smith here. Um, I don't normally make that many Dylan Thomas videos. I wasn't e expecting to do this one, but um, I just want to like give an update since what happened um, last time. I made a video about um, talking about his ED. He did actually contact me and he said that most of it was lies, which it's ED. Yeah, you kind of expect some of it to be a bit lie-ish um, and he decided to change his channel name about half a dozen times I got no idea I actually did reply to his comments saying that he needs to change for the better and it's not too late to change um, hopefully he took my information to heart but when you go to his channel when you search Dylan Thomas on YouTube his channel is now an archive channel and it looks like he might end up deleting it or just leaving it as an archive because all of this is the same it's the same um, in information here um, same, same videos right here he's got the same amount of subscribers but it looks like he's not gonna upload anyone anymore because he posted this and he turned off the um, he turned off the comments um so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring it up on my um you, you're not gonna see it up big but I've actually s I um I saved the um, screenshot so I could actually like read it in bigger text so I've blown it up in um in my um picture program or, f or Microsoft photos or whatever you call it just so I can read it because I can't read that small I know I could like control plus 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 it but I just wanted to like read it this way it's easier so his post reads this is the last post I've making online for years I spent my time making money off mocking people I always justified it by saying to myself that it's okay to harass bad people I used this justification for years and built up my myself and built myself up a decent following being a terrible person to be fair, like when he was doing that Chris Cat, them Chris Clan readings, Cricky readings, and that, Dad didn't really make him a terrible person. It was just like reading Crickies, the Cricky articles. Basically, what 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 I'm doing every, every Saturday, it doesn't make me a terrible person. It's, it's just entertaining to read. Also, like looking into locales, it's like en entertaining to learn about them and m make videos about them. I don't think it makes a terrible person unless it's, it's like real harassment towards them and their family. Then that would make you a terrible person. La last year, I not only found out that Chris fucked his mum, but the trolls who talked him into it were fans of mine. Really? Isabella Isabella Loretta Ganky was a fan of his. This made me start to question what I have been doing with my life. I started to look inward to try and fix what was long wrong in my life. I don't like be I don't I, I don't like being in California, so I left it and went back home. Well, to be fair, it's probably for the best because I hear California has gotten a lot downhill lately. I didn't like the way my <coughs> relationship was going after talking things things out. Me and Tyler split up, s split ways after three long years of being together. Yeah, wasn't they like, I'm pretty sure it's like a long distance relationship or something. Okay, here's like a, um, like a, um, a spicy bit of information that I want to give out take it as you will I don't count as long distance relationships or internet relationships being a real relationship a real relationship to me is you meet the person in person face to face and you know them in person from then on for like days weeks months then you build up a relationship over uh, over that not 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 online not not online I'm I'm not keen yes I have been on online relationships before years and years ago they never work out so yeah online relationships never work out in the end now I completely lost my um um where was a um, museum okay I reflected more on the mistakes I had made and tried to write them 
I knew Jesse Bajamas did fuck up things and chose to stay quiet so that my friends and fans wouldn't turn on me. This was wrong. I spoke with the victims and and did all all I could to bring their stories to light. I thought about how many how many about how many times I I let things slip. How many times I ignored something because a friend asked me asked me to and this made me realize I didn't deserve to expose people anymore I thought I could hang up my old content and move on but ironically the audience I had made decided that I was now a bad person that I deserved to be harassed no you do not deserve to be harassed and to be fair People shouldn't harass you. You just got to, like, like I said in my comment, replying to your comment, you just got to like step away from the internet, which obviously you're doing now. Hopefully you'll stick to your word. Step away from your from the internet. Go outside. Enjoy the world. Don't stick. Don't stay cooped up near a computer all the time. I had a job for like, well, I have a job for like um almost seven years now. And before that, I was always on the internet. Since I, since I got a job, then everything's been going really well for me. So yeah, you need to get out of there. You need to explore stuff. Explore the world. Enjoy yourself. Breathe some air. Be happy. I lost my. Where was I? Uh, da -da 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 -da. The harassment carried on for four months non-stop. I had people sign me up for gay websites. Was that really real? I know that I heard something about him being signed up on Grind or something. I don't think that was real. And then act that acted that I had the account myself. I had people try to hack into my PayPal, try to dox my mum, dox me, and so much more. Yeah, that that is taking it too far. To be fair, Pe people do take shit too far. I tried to explain why why they were mistaken and caused more drama I tried to do videos owning up to my to my mistakes which you shouldn't do you shouldn't make apology videos either because people take it and twist twist your words and basically make it a lot worse that caused even more drama and lastly I tried to block everything out and ignored everyone that's what you should have done for the first thing you shouldn't have made that apology video you should have like as soon as you got the harassment cause Step away from the computer. Log log out your account. Log out of your account. Just ignore it. Block 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 people. Um, just just ignore it. Cause if you like ret retaliate, re re retaliate, and like bite back, it'll make things a lot worse. A fan of mine then took things into their own hands and flagged down a troll account and made them mock me. Wasn't that um? Shillen Thomas or something I, I, I don't know um I did hear, hear like a name Shillen going around but um yeah I do know that the account like that got taken down but I'm not quite sure I don't really know it's at this point that I see things as the way they they are they are there is no fixing things and there is no moving on from my past even if I tried to do, to right my wrongs you can move on from your past you just like you need to like step away from the internet obviously I have I have decided that I lost too much and that the internet is not worth the trouble I am moving on from YouTube discord and all the things that are connected to it I'm getting a real job and leaving the internet for good well that is a good thing like obviously don't leave the internet just like leave 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 YouTube for a bit leave, leave discord like leave the um leave the platforms that you're that you're being targeted on like I know it'll make the I know it'll make the trolls think that they won but hate the loss really because that's, that's, that's what I've been doing like for, for like years and to be fair I have felt better for it I even let, left a, a really toxic community like back in um, oh I think like back in 2016 2017 and since then 
it was like a new lease of life for me. I I've enjoyed I've enjoyed life ever since then. I even got into cosplaying and I just like enjoyed everything about that. So yeah, get into new ideas. Just get into stuff like try not to get into stuff that will get you into trouble. That that sort of thing. Don't fight for me. Do not defend me. Just move on. Oh, there's another bit down here. Okay, I didn't scroll down far enough. If there's a lesson to be learnt, it's don't live with the mindset of being able to do wrong things for the right reasons. If you play dumb games, you win dumb prizes. And I think that after everything I have done to deserve... Wait a minute. And I think that after everything I have done, I deserved for the past four months of harassment. Uh, like I said, you do not deserve harassment. You just... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I did actually like the post because... I, um... Yeah, I think it is pretty decent um, post for him to do. Yeah, his, um, his channel is still up. His channel is still up. I don't know for how long though, but it's an archive channel. He renamed to it. He did actually rename it to like Frosty DT or some something like that before this. I had no idea why. Um, and before that, it was Comics Code, and then before that, it was just like Dylan Thomas DHT. Um, but now it's now it's Dylan Thomas DHT archive. So, so yeah. Um, just for lax. If you're watching this, just do what you're planning on do. Don't do a U-turn and come back and make apology videos again because that never works. Um, yeah, I do hope you do better for yourself. I wish you all the best and I wish your family the best. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Just good luck for the future. En enjoy life. Have a happy life. Uh, I'm going to end this video now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.